We're here at the famous Roundhouse in Camden for the final leg of the Peace Mix Tour, which has already been to many major venues like Manchester and Birmingham. But we're here today in London, in which Tinty Strider will be headlining the Peace Mix concert. This was no small event, with big crowds turning up to see all the acts on show. We spoke to Rajay Nayak from The Big Lottery Fund to find out what Peace Mix was all about. Well, Peace Mix is all about making sure that we really tap into communities, local people, local young people in particular, ensure that we're providing them with opportunities to really demonstrate their talent because you know, so often we're getting told now that people aren't listening to people's talent, people aren't engaging with people's talent, people are telling people what they should do rather than giving them a stage on which they can perform. And perform they did. Earlier on in the month, we met Sharif Cousins, who helped get Peace Mix up and running. I've played um, in the gangs for years. On the back of that, a lot of stuff's happened. I've seen so much stuff happen on the back of that. I've lost friends. I've just got a prison sentence, like, well, I got it a few years ago. I just got an eight year sentence. It was a long time in jail. Time for me to reflect and, you know, just sit back and look at some of the damage. Work. Probably not personally, of course, but at some indirect way, of course, I made a vow to myself that when I get out of prison, you know, I'm going to be part of the solution if I can, rather than a part of the problem. And the solution is what he has become, as shown with the Peace Mix concert where we spoke to a young rapper by the name of Laughter. I actually grew up in North London on a council estate. That's where my music really started, being around people that could potentially have ended up with no lives, you know, and just ended up on the streets. But what we did was just wrapped together out on road, everyone would drop an instrumental and we just freestyle. My dad passed away last year, which just pushed me even more to do music. It's like, yeah, keeps me sane. I think there are probably two global languages that bring together everyone. One is music, one is sport, as we've seen this summer through the Olympics. So bringing together people through sport or through music, we've been able to see demonstrable reductions in crime uh, and in gang culture and all those sorts of issues. Anything what can keep the kids off the street, give them something to occupy their time, and whether it be music, entertainment, acting, whatever, is a positive thing. So clearly, the message of peace can be spread through music. And I, for one, believe that it needs to be endorsed by more of the big corporations. So from Yabuzia and London 360, good night.